Hey, 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 Scorpio. It's November. We're in Scorpio season. It's crazy. Deception, heartbreak, awakenings, why me mode. So I'm going to do a crazy spread today. Going to give you some new energy from November. I'm feeling a lot of back pain all of a sudden. Maybe I have some Scorpios that are really struggling with some medical issues or some problems during COVID that they didn't know they had. Um, first, I'm going to pull a card from the Lenorma deck. Uh, get a total process of the entire reading, and we're going to go from there. Show me what you got for Scorpio. What's the energy you got for November during Scorpio season? How's everybody feeling coming out of the blue moon? Second full moon in October. And uh, we have cup energy from our Scorpio. Deception being broken and ego. 36, the cross. Religious uh, awakenings. Transformation seeking a higher up. The Hierophant. You're single, someone broke a karmic spell, moving out of that energy, getting rid of a karmic. Looking for the four pillars, I heard. This is a eight, which is Leo energy. Letting yin and yang come in. Trapped in fear. Okay, so you're with a karmic. Eight, a Leo. A Leo and a Scorpio here. You are stuck with a karmic. You're now single. You messed up a situation with your soulmate. And you want to kind of share with them what? What do you want to share with them, Scorpio? Because these were not the cards I was going to use, but I'm going to use them now. You're trapped in your own fears, seeking religious beliefs. You could see them. You were taming the lion. or you're t Oh, you're taming the beast inside of yourself. Road trip. You're going to see somebody. You're going to see somebody. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Where's the cards I want to use? Show me with nine in that single energy, we're going from eight to nine, you're increasing your acknowledgement of your intuition. You're moving up the scale. You're balancing out your ego and your chakra. You really have a transformation coming in. Okay, this doesn't want to go in. Music, harmony, hearing songs of someone in the past. Yep, missed opportunity. Looking back on loving days with a partner that you walked away from. The half moon will be coming in, which is the final moon in December. Uh, you're hearing a lot of love songs. You're reminiscing. The new moon is bringing a promise of maybe a past loved one back into your life. So you have broken ego, polarity, equal. The equinox of equality and polarity, the dark and light energy are now balancing in you. You're coming into full completion of a cycle that you just got out of. Let's see if some love oracles will balance this out for you. There's the infinity sign here. You're listening to music, going to concerts. Uh, there's a twin here. Um, that's in regards to being trapped in bad energy. Maybe some karmic spells were taken upon you. Let go of your control issues, Leo. A lot of Leos have ego problems with authority. And I don't mean authority like... Like police authority, I mean like listening to authority, always being right. But spirit took you on this journey. Um, having problems with your children, having problems with their children, allowing your love life to just unfold and not put any pressure on it or force something that is not worth forcing. Making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Some of you may have had grandchildren during COVID. I'm seeing building a bond with that and working on your family life instead of your relationship. So your ego was broken down. You're looking back on some mistakes you've made with your own children. And it says, stay optimistic. Positive thinking of faith will bring you romance. Take some time out. Green, your chakra. Your heart chakra is opening. They're bringing their heart to you. So this person has also done work on their end. Uh, some love oracles from your person. Scorpio. Always my mischievous person in the crowd. Scorpio, what do you want to say to your person? Be my wife. I got man here. A man could be feminine or masculine energy. What else do you want to say to your past person? I always knew you were the one that got away. Oh, this is a love story here. Leo's got love. I mean, Scorpio, I'm sorry. Maybe it was with a Leo. You're breaking free from a Leo. Kiss me. Why you want to kiss me? I want to kiss you every day of my life. So your person has really missed you. You were trapped with a karmic who was a Leo. Uh, Scorpio needed to move forward and work on their ego. And you're going on a road trip. You're single now. You want to tell the person, express to them that you made a mistake. And you want them back. Oh, my ears are ringing right side. That is truth. 
do not ever leave me again. And I moved on, didn't want you to know, still loved you with all my heart, but I was trying to prove a lesson because that's what Scorpios do. And they couldn't hold a candle to you. Scorpio, love is in the air. Old enchanted love, the one that got away. Great job on the work. Ego completely broken down. This karmic puts you through hell and back. But I guess it's worth it right at the end if your person comes in regardless. So love and light, shine like a diamond. Please share, like, and subscribe. All of your views get me more views and I can help more people because I love doing what I love to do. It's my purpose. Outdoor Healing at 11.11 and I still am doing private readings if you'd like to book one. Have a great November. Happy Thanksgiving. Work on your medical condition. Move forward. Take that road trip. If they say no, what do you got to lose? Go get your person. Bye, Scorpio.